Hello students, today you are going to study a further part of this current topic that is animal tissue and the part is a fluid connective tissue. So blood and the lymph, these are two uh, fluid connective tissue found in the animals. Let us move towards the one more type of tissue that is the muscular tissue and the types of muscular tissue. Let us see what is muscular tissue. Muscular tissue and the cells of muscular tissues are elongated. That's why these are called as a muscle fibers. Okay, so these are elongated cells. So each muscle fiber is covered with a covering that is called as a sarcolima. Okay, a covering is called as a sarcolima, and a cytoplasm present in these are called as a sarcoplasm. Okay, sarcolima and the sarcoplasm. I repeat my sentence. Each muscle fiber is covered with a covering that is called as a sarcolima. Okay, or the sarco uh, covering. So that outer covering is called as a sarcolima, and a cytoplasm of these are called as a sarcoplasm. So you can see a whatever fluid is present in this particular tissue is called as a sarcoplasm and a covering of these uh, tissue are called as a sarcolima. Okay, so these tissues are basically covered with the covering, outer covering which is called as a sarcolima and the fluid present in these or the cytoplasm present in these uh, tissue are known as a sarcoplasm. Okay, let us move towards the types of muscular tissue so first one is skeletal muscle okay skeletal muscle so this is simply regarding uh, before moving towards this actually skeletal muscles see few more points regarding this uh, uh, muscular tissue okay so contractile fibers are present in the sarcoplasm contractile fibers so some contract uh, tie fibers it means that these fibers undergo the contraction process so these contractile fibers are present in the sarcoplasm of this tissue uh, one or many nuclei are present in this tissue. Okay, so one or many nuclei may be pre are present in this particular tissue. Micro or the myofibrils are made up of these fibers are made up of basically protein, actin, and myosin. So myo, uh, these myofibrils are made up of basically and these are called as myofibrils and these are basically made up of different types of components like the protein, actin, and ACTIN, actin and myosin. Myofibrils are contractile and these decrease the length of a tissue. Okay, so these are contractile myofibrils. Hence, these are called as a contractile tissue. And one is a contractile tissue. So the mantra, which is muscular tissue, a contractile tissue. As a mantra, contractile tissue. They have large mitochondria. They have large amount of mitochondria. So muscular tissue have large amount of mitochondria. Let us move towards the types of muscular tissue. First one is skeletal muscle. First one is skeletal muscle. So skeletal muscle is basically attached, found attached to the bones. Okay, skeletal la attached as lele jay muscles are So that's why on the basis of this name, these are known as a muscle fiber. So these skeletal muscles are basically attached, to, found attached to the bones. That's why these are known as a skeletal muscle. Skeletal, S K E L T A L, skeletal muscle. So skeletal muscles are found attached to the bones. These consist of many fasciculi. So these fibers consist of basically many fasciculi. F A S, -S C I C U L I. Fasciculi, which are wrapped by a connective tissue, which are called as a epimycium. Epimycium. Epimycium or the fasci, uh, fascia. Okay. Epimycium or the fascia so the I repeat my sentence. These consist of many. So these skeletal muscles consist of many fasciculi, okay, and these fasciculi are wrapped by a connective tissue which are called as epimycium or the fasci fascia, okay, F A S C I A fascia. Each fasciculum consists of many muscle fibers which are called as a myofibrils. <coughs> muscle fibers are here. these fasciculum consist of many muscles. These fasciculum consist of many muscles which are called as a myo fibrils okay so this is simply regarding the basic things regarding the skeletal muscles which are found attached to the bones okay so each muscle fiber is uh, syncytial syncytial muscle fiber that is contains many nuclei so the each each muscle fiber is syncytial each muscle fiber is a syncytial muscle fiber because it contains many nuclei or uh, that's why this is called as a syncytial muscle fiber okay so this is simply regarding the nucleus present in these 
nuclei are present in these fibers. Okay, each myofibril is made up of. Now, each myofibril is made up of uh, basically made up of repeated functional unit, which are called as a sarcomere. Okay, and a sarcomere suda manta. Okay, so these myofibrils are basically made up of repeated functional units, and these functional units are called as a sarcomere. So these are known as sarcomere, which are so these fibers are basically made up of basically a repeated functional unit, which are called as a sarcomere. So this is simply regarding the uh, components of these fibers. Each sarcomere has a dark band, which is called as a a band. Now each sarcomere, each sarcomere has a dark band, and that dark band is called as a a band. Each light area or the light area present in a a band. अतः ए बैंड आ है या ए बैंड में जो लाइट एरियाज़ आ है तन डार्क एरियाज़ आ है सो लाइट बैंड्स प्रेजेंट इन ए बैंड लाइट एरिया प्रेजेंट इन ए बैंड्स आर कॉल्ड एस ओके अच्छा मतलब सार्कोमियर में जो डार्क बैंड्स आ है मोट मोटी याना क्या मंडर ए बैंड्स से मंडर अन ए बैंड में जो लाइट एर हेंसेंस जोन तेरा क्या मंडरा है हेंसेंस जोन मंडरा क्यों हुआ एच जोन सुधा मंडरा एच जोन इन एच जोन देर इज ए लाइन एंड दैट लाइन तो जो लाइट एरिया है ए बैंड में दे जो असली ला जो लाइट एरिया है तो लाइट एरिया ला हेंसेंस जोन असल मंडरा क्यों हुआ एच जोन असल मंडरा एंड तो एच जोन में दे पर देर इज अने यंचा मधे इस M लाइन बगाला में थे कोना मधे तर हेंसेंस एरिया मधे जो एक लाइन बगाला में थे तला हेंसेंस लाइन असमंटा कि वा H लाइन असमंटा नाउ जस्ट सी A बैंड इज बेसिकली मेड अप ऑफ ए मायोसिन एंड एक्टिन ओके नाउ दिस डार्क बैंड्स प्रेजेंट इन दिस फाइबर्स आर नोन एस A बैंड्स एंड द एरिया लाइट एरियाज प त्यांचा तेज आहे ते बेसिकली कशन बन लाये तर मायोसिन आणि एक्टिन सो एच सॉरी ए बैंड्स आर बेसिकली मेड अप ऑफ एक्टिन एंड दी मायोसिन ओके आइडर साइड ऑफ नो आइडर साइड ऑफ एच बैंड्स देर इज ए लाइट बैंड्स ओके एंड दीज लाइट बैंड्स आर कॉल्ड एज आई बैंड्स ओके ए बैंड्स चा दोनी साइड ला जे बैं I bands are cemented, and the adjacent I bands are separated by a Z line. And the adjacent light bands in these in these fibers, uh, uh, the adjacent uh, adjacent light bands are separated now different type of line, and that line is called as a Z line. That you can see the Z line, okay, on these muscle mus uh, muscular tissue. So this is a diagram of muscular tissue. This is a diagram of cardiac muscle. This is a diagram of the smooth muscles. Okay, so this is simply regard, and these are striated muscles. Okay, so these are striated muscles. Okay, so this is simply regarding the skeletal muscles. Okay, now just see few more points regarding the further part of this topic that is the. Yes. Now just see the smooth or non-striated muscles. These are present in a sheet or a layer form, and these are spindle shape. These are present in the sheet or the layer form, and these are called as a smooth tissue uh, or the smooth muscle fibers. And these are basically spindle shape. And these spindle shape means these are tapering towards the end, and a nucleus is present at a center. So these are called as a smooth muscles. Okay. So smooth muscles are present in a bunch or in sheet in layers, okay, and these are spindle shape. And these are basically unbranched, having a single nucleus which is present at the center. Sarcoplasm. Now the uh, cytoplasm present in these smooth muscles is called as a sarcoplasm, and the sarcoplasm contains a myofibrils, and the myofibrils are basically made up of contractile protein, actin, and the myosin. So the myo uh, yes, sarcoplasm contains sarcoplasm basically contains the myofibrils, and these myofibrils are basically made up of contractile protein. So these are basically made up of contractile proteins, actin, and the myosin. And these 
undergo involuntary contraction these undergo the process of in involuntary contraction and these are uh, inverted by the nervous system okay these these are uh, innerved by nerve system and these are mainly found in the visceral organs visceral organ madhe he mainly bagayla milta so these are basically made up of uh, uh, mainly found in the visceral organs okay hence these are called as a visceral muscles he visceral organs madhe mainly bagayla milta ani mhanun yala visceral muscles suddha mhanta and these are tapering towards the both ends and the nucleus is present at the center now just move towards the one more type of, type of uh, muscle fibers or the muscular tissue that is the contractile tissue okay or the contractile tissue contractile tissue these show both characters okay striated as well as non striated and these are basically uninucleated and muscles appear okay to be a multinucleated okay so he actually separate as they put multinucleated ashe vatta because these are और दी एडजस्टेड मसल फाइबर्स आर जॉइंटेड टुगेदर ये बघा इथे हे एकमेकाला अटॅच्ड आहे म्हणून ते काय वाटतात मल्टीन्यूक्लिएटेड वाटतात कारण का एडजस्टेंट जे आहेत एकमेकांच्या नेबरिंग आहेत सो नेबरिंग बँड्स ऑर द नेबरिंग मसल फाइबर्स आर अटॅच्ड टू ईच अदर सो दीज अपीयर जस्ट लाइक दी मल्टीन्यूक्लिएटेड सो दीज एडजस्टेंट एडजस्टेंट प्लेसेस अलाउ कार्डियक मसल्स ओके टू कॉन्ट्रॅक्ट एज ए युनिट ओके फॉर a quick transfer of stimulus these adjacent places allow cardiac muscles to contract as a unit for a quick transfer of a stimulus okay some mammalian cardiac muscles generate impulse some cardiac muscles generate this is a cardiac muscle so some cardiac muscles of the mammals generate impulse okay uh, impulse on their own that's why these are called as a myogenic हार्ट हे मसल याच्यामध्ये हार्ट मध्ये ही मसल्स बघायला मिळतात आणि हे काय जनरेट करतात तर इम्पल्स जनरेट करतात आणि म्हणून या मसल्सना मायोजेनिक काय म्हणतात मसल्स असं म्हणतात आणि ते जे हार्ट आहे त्याला काय म्हणतात मायोजेनिक हार्ट ओके तर अशा पद्धतीने याच्यामध्ये ह्या बऱ्याचशा गोष्टी बघायला मिळतात ओके हॅलो स्टुडंट्स नाव जस्ट मूव टुवर्ड्स दी last point of this current topic that is animal tissue and the last point is nervous tissue let us see regarding the nervous tissue this is the nervous tissue and this consists of cytoplasm and the exon let us move towards this uh, each and every part of this particular nervous tissue so nervous tissue is basically or this nervous tissue consists of nerve cells neurons and the neuroglia okay so this is basically made up of or the nervous tissue is basically made up of nerve cells neurons and the neuroglia okay neuron is basically structural and functional unit of the nervous system okay basically neuron this is a single neuron and this neuron consists of a basic this neuron is basically structural and functional unit of the nervous system okay so neurological cells are capable of regeneration and the division but neurons lack this due to the lack of centriole okay so this is simply regarding a structure of a single neuron let us uh, move towards this particular uh, structure of the neuron move towards the page number you can see uh, the diagram that is the structure of multipolar neurons on page number 122 okay so i request all students to open your textbook while studying this particular topic for each and every online lectures you should have a notebook as well as a text book while studying you should mention few points related to the uh, lecture and uh, as well as diagrams and you have to open your text book while studying a online lecture okay नेहमी लेक्चर ऑनलाईन लेक्चर स्टडी करत असताना किंवा पाहत असताना तुमच्या समोर टेक्स्ट बुक हे ओपन असणं अत्यंत आवश्यक आहे आणि त्याचबरोबर तुमच्या समोर एक नोटबुक असणे अत्यंत आवश्यक आहे सो यू कॅन सी दिस स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ मल्टीपोलर न्यूरॉन ऑन द पेज नंबर वन ट्वेंटी फोर ओके सो दिस इज सिम्पली रिगार्डिंग दिस स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ए नर्वस ऑर द न्यूरॉन ए टिपिकल न्यूरॉन ओके सो इंटरसेल्युलर लिक्विड इज अपसेंट 
Mulon is an impulse generating and conducting particular unit. Neuron is a impulse generating and conducting unit. So this neuron is a impulse generating and conducting uh, unit of the nervous system and this consists of a cyton and the uh, exon. Okay, you can see the various parts of this one that is the nucleus or nucleus of this exon, then the neuro, uh, neuri lima, neuri lima, then the exon, then the node of Renewer, then the trans cell, then you can see a nucleus which is located at the center of this, then this is called as a body cell or a cell body and then you can see the dendrons and the nucleoplasm, a nucleoplasm present in a cyton. So this is simply regarding a typical structure of the neuron and then you can see the uh, branched structure that is the telodendron, okay, telodendron, a branched structure at the end of this particular towards the end portion or the posterior part of this particular neuron and that is called as a telodendron okay so this is simply regarding the structure of neuron okay let us move towards the uh, yes as i said earlier so neuron is an impulse generating and the conducting unit they bring a quick communication in the body neuron change action potential of other membrane on receiving part or the receiving uh, receiving any external stimuli is called as excitability i repeat my sentence neuron change action potential of their membrane on receiving any external stimuli called excitability okay neuron kya karta the stimuli ahe te getlyanantar tancha madhe ek vishishta prakar chi moment bagala mile that is called as excitability okay so they carry electric impulse from dendron to exon okay so these these neurons uh, conduct electric uh, impulse from the dendrons towards the exon okay asha paditini ithun he ikade carry kele jata electric impulse okay so this is simply regarding the they also carry the electric impulse from the dendron to exon a neuron is basically made up of cyton or the body it is basically made up of cyton body and body cyton or a body and it contains neuroplasm basically a neuron is basically made up of two parts that is the cyton and the exon let us see what is cyton so this is a cyton and this cyton is basically made up of dendrons and a this uh, cyton is also called as a body and this contains a neuroplasm as well as a nucleus and the nucleus is located at the center and the remaining part is called as a exon consisting of different parts okay so this is simply regarding the nucleoplasm neuroplasm contains a mitochondria golgi complex then the uh, uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum so this neuro nucleoplasm okay nucleoplasm or the neuroplasm nucleoplasm or the neuroplasm not nucleoplasm nucleo uh, neuroplasm okay this is called as a neuroplasm so this neuroplasm neuroplasm means a matrix present or a cytoplasm of a neuron is called as neuroplasm okay so this neuroplasm contains contains golgi complex as well as mitochondria as well as rough endoplasmic reticulum and the nasals granules okay this also contains nasals granules okay so this is simply regarding and the nasals granules are basically made for the rna then the cell body give out two processes which are called as a dendrons and the exon he body ahe ti don processes give out karte so this central body gives out into two body parts or the processes this is called as a dendron and this is called as a exon baka ye don processes bagala milta ti yana dendrons mantat tar yana kay mantat exons asa mantat ani hi central body ahe ani yacha madhe neuroplasm ahe yacha madhe neuroplasm madhe nucleus ahe golgi complex ahe रफ एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम आहे मायटोकॉन्ड्रिया आहे नेसल्स ग्रॅन्युल्स आहे अशा पद्धतीने ही सेंट्रल बॉडी आहे अँड दिस सेंट्रल बॉडी गिव्स आउट इनटू टू प्रोसेसेस दिस गिव्स आउट टू प्रोसेसेस फर्स्ट प्रोसेसेस इज कॉल्ड एज अ डेंड्रॉन अँड द सेकंड वन इज कॉल्ड एज अ एक्सॉन ओके सो दिस इज सिंपली रिगार्डिंग सो सेल बॉडी और द साइटॉन गिव आउट द टू प्रोसेसेस डेंड्रॉन एंड द एक्सॉन दे कॅरी इंपल्स टू साइटॉन अँड बोथ दिस दैट इज एक्सॉन एज वेल एज द डेंड्रॉन्स कॅरी इंपल्सेस टुवर्ड्स द cyton okay so exon is a single elongated bounded called as a exolima has exon ahe yachavarti covering asa tala mantat exolima asa 
मानता ओके एंड द साइटोप्लाज्म ऑफ दिस और द प्रोटोप्लाज्म ऑफ द एक्सोन इज कॉल्ड एज ए एक्सोप्लाज्म बेस्ड ऑन द फंक्शंस ओके ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ फंक्शंस दीज आर फर्दर क्लासिफाइड इनटू ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ देयर फंक्शंस दीज आर क्लासिफाइड इनटू थ्री डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द न्यूरॉन्स लाइक द एफरेंट न्यूरॉन्स व्हिच कैरी इंपल्स फ्रॉम द सेंस ऑर्गन टू द सीएनएस एंड द एफरेंट व्हिच कैरीज द इंपल्स फ्रॉम द सीएनएस टू द इफेक्टिव ऑर्गन इफेक्टिव इफेक्टिव ला ऑर्गन ओके आई रिपीट माय सेंटेंस इफरेंट इफरेंट न्यूरॉन it carries the impulses from cns to effector organ hence it is called as a motor neuron ata baka yacha madhe don prakarche neurons bagale milta efferent neuron which carry the impulse from the sense organ to cns and the efferent e double f e r e n t efferent which carry the impulses from the cns central nervous system to the effector organ okay so this is it regarding the basic parts or the basic things regarding the neuron let us move towards the few more points of this particular uh, part that is the interneuron 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 so it is basically located between the sensory and the motor neuron and they are myelinated and the non myelinated these are further classified into myelinated and the non myelinated myelinated have fatty sheet around axon okay which carry the impulse jump from one to another which is called as a saltatory s a l t a t o r y saltatory conduction okay saltatory conduction it means that impulse conducted to one from another one is called as a saltatory conduction based on number of processes these give rise to the three different types of based on number of processes they give out these are further classified into three different types of neurons first one is unipolar or monopolar neuron second one is called as a bipolar and the third one is multipolar okay before moving toward this one you must have some idea regarding the interneuron or the associated neuron these are located between the sensory and the motor neurons these perform uh, these perform processing integration and sensory impulsion and activate appropriate motor neuron to generate the motor impulse depending on the presence or absence of myelin sheet these are classified into myelinated and non myelinated nerve fibers myelinated or the metulated nerve fibers have insulating fatty layer called myelin sheet around the axon this makes a fiber appear white in color due to the presence of these fatty acids these appears whitish in color this sheet is secreted by the schwann cells this sheet, uh, this sheet is not continuous it is interrupted at the nodes of the ranivore so this one is interrupted at the node of ranivore okay ranivore then the neuro uh, neurolemma surrounds the axon the impulse is conducted at a faster rate in such a nerve fibers because it jumps from one node to the next such transmission of impulse is called as a saltatory conduction this transmission of impulse from one node to the another one is called as a saltatory conduction myelin sheet prevents the loss of impulse during the conduction cranial nerve of vertebra uh, vertebrates are myelinated schwann cells and the non medullated nerve fibers does not secrete myelin sheet so these fibers are gray in color due to the absence of fatty acids again on the basis of number of processes give out from the cyton neurons are classified into three different types of uh, neurons like the unipolar neuron or the monopolar neuron uh, bipolar and the multipolar it has a single process first one is a unipolar it has single process originating from cyton both axon and dendrons arise from cyton at one point they conduct impulse to nervous central nervous system okay bipolar is it has two processes so that word itself indicates its meaning that is the bipolar so it has two process okay bipolar means two processes are there in this a single dendron and a axon are give off from the opposite poles 
ऑफ दी सायट्रॉन सायट्रॉन कडून दोन पोल्स येतात एक एक्झॉन आहे तर दुसरा जो आहे तो डेंड्रॉन्स आहे म्हणून याला काय म्हणतात बायपोलर ओके फॉर एक्झाम्पल न्यूरॉन्स ऑफ रेटिन ऑफ द आय अँड दी ऑलफॅक्टरी इपिथेलियम आय चे रेटिना न्यूरॉन्स ऑफ दी आय ओके याचं बायपोलर एक्झाम्पल आहे न्यूरॉन्स ऑफ रेटिना ऑफ आय मल्टीपोलर सायटॉन इज अ स्टार शेप अँड गिव आउट मोर दॅन टू प्रोसेसेस देर इज ओनली वन एक्झॉन अँड रिमेनिंग आर दी डेंड्रॉन्स डेंड्रॉन्स एक्झॉन इनिशिएट्स फ्रॉम ए फनेल शेप एरिया कॉल दी एक्झॉन हिलॉक ओके सो दिस इज ए एक्झाम्पल ऑफ मल्टीपोलर न्यूरॉन ओके सो इन दिस वे on the basis of their processes presence of their processes these are classified into three different types of uh, neurons like the uh, unipolar or the monopolar manje ekas tyachyamadun ka hoto process bahar padto tela unipolar asa mhanta bipolar manje donors pan yachyamadhe tumhi jar baghitla tar multipolar asha padhatine processes this is a typical example of the multipolar uh, neuron okay multipolar neuron so on the basis of presence of their processes these are classified into three different types of neurons like the unipolar or the monopolar second one is bipolar neuron and the third one is the multipolar neuron so this is simply regarding a nervous tissue in this way this chapter is over so if you have any uh, doubt you can ask me later on okay thank you